Hi there, it's Chris here from Fly in DeFi. Right, big video for you here. Really exciting news, as you may or possibly may not have heard. Futures has had an update, and Futures, the number one high interest savings account on the blockchain that we all love. It's one of the products provided by Elephant Money. Futures is back to 0.5% a day. Everybody's over the moon. Everybody's ecstatic about this. The general sentiment has gone through the roof. It's very, very exciting. And so in this video, what I'm going to share with you is all you need to know about this update to Futures and how indeed you can make 0.5% a day. I know that sounds an incredible return, but it's sustainable. It's passive. It's decentralized. So are you ready? Let's jump in. Okay, so I do have quite a lot of information to go through with you in this video. Let's start by defining this 0.5% a day. So the 0.5% a day is what we can earn on any balance that we have in our futures account. What you may not be aware of, though, Possibly you may, but let me cover this for those that may not be. That 0.5% a day is actually made up of two rates that are added together. The rates are firstly something called the personal rate, and then secondly something called the group rate. The group rate is also sometimes known as the base rate. So we've got these two rates, the personal rate and the base rate, added together together. That will determine how much we make per day in our futures account. Now, I'll come back to those two rates in a few moments' time. In a second, I'll go and show you my current futures accounts. You can actually see where these are and the, the congruency, if you like, between these two rates. Another thing to mention is that 0.5% a day is the maximum that we can earn. I mean, maximum, that's a nice problem to have, right? There's no return out there in any other asset class. No bonds, no stocks, no equities. Nothing is going to pay you 0.5% a day, certainly nothing that is sustainable. But one thing worth mentioning at Futures, Futures present the figures as an annualized figure. And it's actually quite good practice for us to start thinking in annual returns rather than daily, although daily does, of course, sound nice. It sounds nice to say 0.5% a day, doesn't it? But at the at the website, in the futures page, which we'll look at, as I say in a moment, everything is annualized. So 0.5% a day is 182.5% a year. Again, compare that to any other asset class. A typical return in the stock market is 8% a year. Yes, the stock market is doing well at the moment, but nothing near what we can make in decentralized finance. Real estate expect to make between 7 to 15% an annum. Here, 182.5% a year. That's the maximum you can make if you use it correctly. And it's very easy to be making the maximum amount as I'm about to show you as we continue. So with all that said, let's take a look um, at Elephant Money. So here I am at Elephant Money itself, as you can see on the screen, and I'm going to click on Futures, and I'm logged into my wallet. So you're going to see all my all my details and bits and pieces here. Now, I'm not going to break down how this works or what exactly it is that we are looking at. We do have separate videos here in Flying DeFi that do break down how Elephant Money and how this product of theirs, Futures, works. But there are a few things in particular that I do want to draw your attention to. Firstly, and arguably most importantly, the APR that you are earning is presented to us here. Now, it's in slightly smaller font, admittedly, but you can, see, you can see here where it says personal bonus. Forget this figure for a second. This is the figure I want to draw your attention to here in slightly smaller font where it says APR equals 182.5. So that is 0.5% a day. So here, all you need to know is that this is how much we are making in futures. Now, we know that the percentage return that we make per day is two rates added together. Uh, let me show you where we can find those two rates. Firstly, the first one is directly above here where it says personal bonus. And the second, if I click on this yield link over here, is uh, it's revealed here, base yield or base rate. So these two rates added together determine how much we are going to make based on what our balance is in futures up to a maximum of 182.5% a year. Now, I want to break down something in particular about the personal bonus that you may not be aware of. You possibly may, may, but you may not. So let's break this down. So this is how the personal bonus works, okay? So whenever we deposit 
into futures, and the minimum that we can deposit at any time is $200. We have to deposit in BNB as well. So when we deposit, let's say the minimum of $200 worth of BNB, whenever we deposit, that automatically triggers the the top personal rate of 0.5% a day. So whenever we deposit into futures, we instantly are at the top tier of the personal rate and we get 0.5% based on what our balance is. But the personal rate gently decays over time. In other words, it gently reduces over time. So the personal rate will start at 0.5%, but over 45 days, it will gently reduce to zero. So the math is, if you took 05 and divided it by these 45 days, it works out at a reduction of 001 every day. So let's just do some very, very simple maths here. If we deposited something into futures, our personal rate would instantly be at the top tier of 0.5% a day because that's how it works. Then on day two, it would decay by 0.01, meaning our personal rate would drop to 0.49, right? Makes sense. Simple math. Day three, we would drop by another 0.01, meaning our personal rate is now 0.48. So our personal rate gently decays over time. However, we can bump it back up to 0.5% at any time by making a fresh deposit. And I'll come on to why that's really a powerful strategy to implement in a few moments time. Now, one other thing to mention as well, even if we did nothing other than, let's say, deposit into futures and then just essentially sit back and uh, allow the daily interest to to accumulate and to accrue, our personal rate would gently decay at 0.01 every day, as we know, until it eventually gets to zero. But don't forget, you remember me saying there are two rates that determine how much we make. We've also got the base rate as well. So whatever the base rate is, is added to our personal rate. Now, these are, again, in yearly figures. So 48% a year is about 0.13% a day. So with our personal rate falling, it starts at 0.5, then decays by 0.01 a day. That's going to fall and fall and fall. But even at, let's say, let's say after a few days, it it falls to 0.4%. Because we've still got this base rate, remember there are two rates that we add together to determine the overall amount that we make, we're still going to be back at 0.5%. Although our personal rate might have fallen to 0.4, we've still got 0.13 in the base rate. So it's important to understand that there are two rates that we add together that determine how much we make in futures. And one of those rates, the personal rate, will gently decay over time. Now, I'm very conscious that when somebody says this in a video, particularly if this is the first time that you are maybe becoming familiar with this amazing decentralized protocol of futures, it can be a little bit overwhelming. I do understand that. Or maybe you know futures very well and this all makes total sense. But let me share with you um, something called the the Futures Calculator, which is created by a wonderful member of the community called Crypto Stew. And I'm going to show you some figures here. Again, please don't, if you're anything like me, when I see a spreadsheet, when I see figures, often my brain kind of freezes over. But when it's broken down and explained simply and step by step, hopefully you'll agree in a few moments time that this is not that overwhelming. But I just want to illustrate the power of of these two rates, the base rate and the personal rate working together to keep us, we can stay at the maximum of 0.5% a day pretty much indefinitely if we know what we're doing. And I'm going to share with you what I mean by that in a moment. So let me just show you what I mean. So here I am at this calculator that I mentioned. I'm not going to break down how all this works. You might be familiar with this. This might be the first time you've seen this, but I'm not going to break down how all this works. We do have other videos here in Flying DeFi going through how all this works. 
But what I want to do is just show you one thing here. Imagine that we are going to deposit monthly. There's an option here to choose how often we deposit into futures. I'm just going to imagine I'm going to choose uh, monthly. So I'm going to deposit monthly into futures and that's it. Now, again, don't freak out if you've never seen this particular area of the calculator before. As I say, I know it can be a little bit overwhelming, but here we are presented with lots of facts and lots of figures and all these sorts of good stuff. Now, what I want to share with you here is as follows. The personal rates. So we talked about this a few moments ago. The personal rate, when we deposit into futures, we start at 0.5%, don't we? I've just mentioned that a few moments ago. And do you remember me saying, well, of course you did. I said it 60 seconds ago. It then gently decays over time by 0.01% a day. So on day two, here we go. The personal rate on day two, it's fallen to 0.48. On day three, 0.47. Day four, 0.46. So you can see our personal rate is falling. But remember, we've also got this group rate here, which is it's pretty much fixed about 0.14%. So we've got these two rates, haven't we, that we add together to determine the total rates that we're getting. And here in the total rate column, can you see this here? Total rate, look, we're staying at 0.5%. We're staying at 0.5%. Despite the fact that our personal rate is falling, we've got this group rate that, if you like, is kind of topping that up. And so the total rate is staying at 0.5%. This is if we deposit once a month until about day... 14, day 14, and then the total rate begins to fall because the personal rate plus the group rate is now less than 0.5. So the, the total rate is beginning to fall. If I scroll down to about day 30, you can see here, here we are at day 30, you can see that if you just deposit once a month into futures and literally do nothing else at all, for the first 15 days of that month, you're going to get an incredibly handsome 0.5% a day. And then from day 16 onwards, it's going to drop gently to about 0.31%, which is still absolutely extraordinary. But this is if you deposit once a month. So therefore, imagine, and this really is kind of, I want to tie up a bow neatly of why futures is a powerful protocol and how you can be at 0.5% pretty much every day if you know what you're doing. Pretty much all you have to do to do that, to achieve that, is deposit maybe twice a month. Now, I appreciate for some that that might not be possible, and I do understand that. But if you could afford to deposit, let's say, $200 every fortnight, well, let's take a little look. Let's go back to the calculator here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to change here the monthly deposit to fortnightly. That's literally it. So now I'm putting in $200 every fortnight. So obviously $400 a month. Let's look at how that changes the strategy. So here I am back at the strategy again. Let me scroll back to the top. And again, let's look again at the personal rate. The personal rate when we deposit into future starts at 0.5% a day, as we know. And then as we also know, it gently decays. We've talked about this a few times. So again, this remains the same. Day two, it's fallen to 0.48. Day three, 0.47. Day four, 0.46. That's the personal rate. But of course, we've got the group rate that we add to this to bump up to the total rate. So look, we've got the total rate here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. It's wonderful, right? Now let's scroll down to, I think it was day 14, when we deposited once a month, when the total rate began to fall. And at day 14, it just dips again to 0 0.49. But look, because we're depositing fortnightly, the next day, day 15, boom, our personal rate back to 0 0.5. And then again, from day 16, it's now decaying by 0.01% a day. But because we bumped up to 0 0.5, that means if I scroll down from day 15 to day 30, look, our total rate back to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And back, let's go to day 30, so the whole month, and it just dips again at the very, very end of the month. But of course, you could, you know, deposit fresh funds, you know, on day 28 if you wanted to, to get back to the 0.5% a day.
So the, uh, the, the purpose of this video really was to share with you that Futures is back and everybody is very excited about it. The community, the herd, the general sentiment is one of euphoria. It's wonderful to be part of this uh, community where we have access to this protocol that allows 0.5% a day passive income sustainable on the blockchain. It's absolutely wonderful and amazing and uh, that's the reason for this video to share with you the fact that this is the latest update to futures and uh, I hope you have enjoyed what we've gone through together over our short time here together by the way if you do have any questions uh, please do post them in the comments below I've said this quite often we do read your comments here at Fly in DeFi and we do find your feedback and your comments very very helpful so good or bad we're open to anything we don't delete any comments please let me know what you thought about this video, what you think about futures, where your head is at, would love to get your comments below. So please do that. It really helps us. And on the way out, maybe you can just punch the like button as well, because that allows us to share this content with more individuals such as you, such as me, that are interested in daily passive income and utilizing the power of the blockchain. So thanks for posting a comment. Thanks for clicking like. My name is Chris Farrell from Fly in DeFi. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon.